Good afternoon everyone. My name is Professor Swapnil S. Surke of SND COE and Research Center Evda of Department of Electrical Engineering. Today we will discuss the topic of, of the subject electric and hybrid electric vehicles. In this topic, we will discuss the topics like hybrid electric vehicles, then fuel cell vehicles, then social and environmental importance of hybrid and electric vehicles, then impact of modern drive trains on energy supply. In this topic, first topic is the hybrid electric vehicles. What is hybrid electric vehicles? A hybrid electric vehicle HEV is a type of hybrid vehicle that combines a conventional internal combustion engine ICE system with an electric propulsion system hybrid vehicle drivetrain. It's called as hybrid electric vehicle that is HEV. The presence of the electric powertrain is intended to achieve either better fuel economy than a conventional vehicle or better performance. Is the main motive of this hybrid electric vehicles. Then brief scenario of hybrid electric vehicles. In modern HEVs, it make use of efficiency improving technologies such as regenerative brakes which convert the vehicle's kinetic energy to electric energy which is stored in a battery or supercapacitors. Some, some varieties of HEV use an internal combustion engine to turn an electric generator which either recharges the vehicle's batteries or directly powers its electric drive motors. This combination is known as a motor generator. Many HEVs reduce idle emissions by shutting down the engine at idle and restarting it when needed. This is known as a start-stop system. A hybrid electric produces lower tailpipe emissions than a comparably sized gasoline car since the hybrid gasoline engine is usually smaller than that of a gasoline powered vehicle. If the engine is not used to drive the car directly, it can be geared to run at maximum efficiency, further improving fuel economy. In this scenario, the Ferdinand Porsche developed the Lohner Porsche in 1901. But hybrid electric vehicles did not become widely available until the release of the Toyota Prius in Japan in 1997, followed by the Honda Insight in 1999. Initially, hybrid seems unnecessary due to the low cost of gasoline. Worldwide increases in the price of petroleum caused many automakers to release hybrids in the late 2000s. They are now pursued as a core segment of the automotive market of the future. As of April 2020, over 17 million hybrid electric vehicles have been sold worldwide since their inception in 1997. Japan has the world's largest hybrid electric vehicle fleet with 7.5 million hybrids registered as of March 2018. Japan also has the world's highest hybrid market penetration with hybrids representing 19% of all passenger cars on the road as of March 2018. 
both figures excluding cars. As of December 2020, the U.S. ranked second with cumulative sales of 5.8 million units since 1999. And as of July 2020, Europe listed third with 3 million cars delivered since the year 2000. Global sales are led by the Toyota Motor Corporation with more than 15 million Lexus and Toyota hybrids sold as of January 2020, followed by Honda Motor Company Limited with cumulative global sales of more than 1.35 million hybrids as of June 2014. As of January 2017, worldwide hybrid sales are led by the Toyota Prius Liveback with cumulative sales of almost 4 million units. The Prius nameplate had sold more than 6 million hybrids up to January 2017. Global Lexus hybrid sales achieved the 1 million unit milestone in March 2016. As of January 2017, the conventional Prius is the all-time best-selling hybrid car in both Japan and the US, with sales of over 1.8 million in Japan and 1.75 million in the US. Then, classification of hybrid electric vehicles. The hybrid electric vehicles are of different types in which types of power train. Hybrid electric vehicles can be classified according to the way in which power is supplied to the drive train. In, first is in parallel hybrids. The IC and the electric motor are both connected to the mechanical transmission and can simultaneously transmit power to drive the wheel, usually through a conventional transmission. Honda's integrated motor assist IMA system as found in the Insight Civic Accord as, as well as the GM belted alternator starter bus hybrid system found in the Chevrolet Malibu hybrids are examples of production of parallel hybrids. The internal combustion engine of many parallel hybrids can also act as a generator for supplemental recharging. As of 2013, commercialized parallel hybrids use a full-size combustion engine with a single small less than 20 kW electric motor and small battery pack as the electric motor is designed to supplement the main engine not to be the sole source of motive power from launch. But after, after the year 2015, parallel hybrids with over 50 kW are available, enabling electric driving at moderate acceleration. Parallel hybrids are more efficient than comparable non-hybrid vehicles, especially during urban stop and go conditions where the electric motor is permitted to contribute and during highway operation. Then second type is the series hybrids. In series hybrids, only the electric motor drives the electric drivetrain and a Smaller IC, also called range extender, works as a generator to power the electric motor or to recharge the batteries. They also usually have a larger battery pack than parallel hybrids, making them more expensive. Once the batteries are low, the small combustion engine can generate power at its optimum settings at all times, making them more efficient in extensive city driving. Power split hybrids have the benefits of a combination of series and parallel characteristics. As a result, 
they are more efficient overall because series hybrids tend to be more efficient at lower speeds and parallel tend to be more efficient at high speeds however the cost of power split hybrid is higher than a pure parallel examples of power split referred to to by some as series parallel hybrid power trains include in the 2000 in the year 2007 models of ford general motors lexus nissan and toyota in each of the hybrids above it is common to use regenerative braking to recharge the battery then types by degree of hybridization first is full hybrid in full hybrid vehicles sometimes also called a strong hybrid is a vehicle that can run only on a combustion engine only on an electric motor or a combination of both force hybrid system toyota's hybrid synergy drive and general motors twistler two mode hybrid technologies are full hybrid systems the toyota prius ford escape hybrid and ford fusion hybrid are examples of full hybrid as these cars can be moved forward on battery power alone a large high capacity battery pack is needed for battery only operation these vehicles have a slit power path allowing greater flexibility in the drive train by inter converting mechanical and electrical power at some cost in complexity then second type by the hybridization is mild hybrid is a vehicle that cannot be driven solely on its electric motor because the electric motor does not have enough power to propel the vehicle on its own mild hybrids include only some of the features found in hybrid technology and usually achieve limited fuel consumption savings up to 15% in urban driving and 8 to 10% overall cycle a mild hybrid is essentially a conventional vehicle with oversized starter motor allowing the engine to be turned off whenever the car is costing braking or stop it restart quickly and cleanly the motor is often mounted between the engine and transmission taking the the place of the torque converter and is used to supply additional propulsion energy when accelerating accessories can continue to run on electric power while the gasoline engine is off and as in other hybrid designs the motor is used for regenerative braking to recapture energy as compared to full hybrids mild hybrids have smaller batteries and a smart smaller weaker motor generator which allows manufacturers to reduce cost and weight honda's early hybrids including the first generation inside use this design leveraging their reputation for design of small efficient gasoline engine their system is dubbed integrated motor assist ima starting with the year 2006 civic hybrid the ima system now can propel the vehicle solely on electric power during medium speed cruising another example in the year of 2005 to 7 chevrolet silverado hybrid a full size pickup truck chevrolet was able to get a 10% improvement on the silverado's fuel efficiency by shutting down and restarting the engine on demand and using regenerative braking then general motors has also used its mild bus hybrid technology in other models such as the 
सैटर्न व्यू ग्रीन लाइन द सैटर्न और और ग्रीन लाइट ग्रीन इन द इन द इयर 2008 एंड 9 शेवरोलेट मालिबु हाइब्रिड एंड इन द इयर 2013 एंड 14 शेवरोलेट मालिबु इको देन यू सी द सम एग्जांपल्स ऑफ हाइब्रिड इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स इन व्हिच देयर आर सम टू व्हील and cycle type vehicles are available then mopeds electric bicycles and even electric kick scooters are a simple form of a hybrid powered by an internal combustion engine or electric motor and the riders muscles then a petroleum electric hybrid most commonly uses internal combustion engines using a variety of fuels generally gasoline or diesel engines and electric motors to power the vehicle the energy stored in the fuel of the internal combustion engine and an electric battery set then the most common form of hev is the hybrid electric car although hybrid electric trucks pickups and tractors buses boats and aircraft also exist then next vehicles are fuel cell vehicles a fuel cell vehicle fcv or fuel cell electric vehicle fcev is an electric vehicle that uses a fuel cell sometimes in com- combination with a small battery or super capacitor to power its on board electric motor fuel cells in vehicles generate electricity generally using oxygen from the air and compress hydrogen most fuel cell vehicles are classified as zero emissions vehicles that emit only water and heat as compared with internal combustion vehicles hydrogen vehicles centralize pollutants at the site of the hydrogen production where hydrogen is typically derived from reform natural gas transporting and storing hydrogen may also create pollutants fuel cells have have been used in various kinds of vehicles including forklifts especially in indoor applications where their clean emissions are important to air quality and in space applications the first commercially produced hydrogen fuel cell automobile the Hyundai iX35 FCEV was introduced in to in the year 2013 then Toyota Mirai followed in in the year 2015 and then Honda entered the market fuel cells are being developed and tested in trucks buses boats motorcycle and bicycles among other kinds of vehicles as of december december 2020 31225 passenger fce which powered with hydrogen had been sold worldwide as of of the year 2021 there were only two models of fuel cell cars publicly available in select markets the toyota mirai in the year 2014 and the hyundai nexo in the year 2018 the honda clarity was produced from 2016 to 2021 when it was this continue as of in the year 2020 there was limited hydrogen infrastructure with fewer than 50 hydrogen fueling stations for automobiles publicly available in the us critics doubt whether hydrogen will be efficient or cost effective for automobiles as compared with other zero emission technologies and in in the year 
the motley fool who open what is tough to dispute is that the hydrogen fuel cell dream is all but dead for the passenger vehicle market then the description and purpose of fuel cells in vehicles all fuel cells are made up of three parts an electrolyte an anode and a cathode in principle a hydrogen fuel cell functions like a battery producing electricity which can run an electric motor instead of requiring recharging however the fuel cell can can be refilled with hydrogen different types of fuel cells include polymer electrolyte membrane pem fuel cells direct methanol fuel cell phosphoric acid fuel cells molten carbonate fuel cells solid oxide fuel cells reform methanol fuel cells and regenerative fuel cells these are the some examples of the fuel cells which are useful in the vehicles then history of fuel cell vehicle the concept of the fuel cell was first demonstrated by humphrey davy in in the year 1801 but the invention of the first working fuel cell is credited to william grow a chemist lawyer and physicist grow's experiments with what he called a gas voltaic battery grew in in the year 1842 that an electric current could be produced by an electrochemical reaction between hydrogen and oxygen over a platinum catalyst english engineer francis thomas bacon expanded on grow's work creating and demonstrating various alkaline fuel cells from from the year 1939 to 1959 the first modern fuel cell vehicle was a modified ellis cham chamber car tractor fitted with a 15 kw fuel cell around around the year 1959 the cold war space race pro further development of fuel cell technology project gemini tested fuel cells to pro provide electrical power during manned space mission fuel cell development continue with the apollo program the electrical power systems in the apollo capsules and lunar modules use alkali fuel cell then in the year 1966 general motors developed the first fuel cell road vehicle the chevrolet electro van it had a pm fuel cell a range of 120 miles and a top speed of 70 mph there were only two seats as the fuel cell stack and large tanks of hydrogen and oxygen took up the rear portion of the van only one was built as the project was deemed cost prohibitive general electric and other continue working on pm fuel cells in the year 1970 fuel cell stacks were still limited principally to space applications in the year 1980s including the space shuttle however the closure of the apollo program sent many industry experts to private companies by the year 1990s automobile manufacturers were interested in fuel cell applications and demonstration vehicles were ready 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 in the year 2001 the first 700 bar 10000 psi hydrogen tanks were demonstrated reducing the size of the fuel tanks that could be used in vehicles and extending the range then applications of fuel cell vehicles 
there are fuel cell vehicles for all modes of transport the most prevalent fuel cell vehicles are cars buses forklifts motorcycles and bicycles then aeroplanes aeroplanes boats submarine trains trucks and material handling vehicles in which the automobile the various fuel cell vehicles are used in the automobile industry and in our day to day life the honda fcx clarity concept car was introduced in the year 2008 for leasing by customers in japan and southern california and discontinued in in the year 2015 from the year 2008 to 14 honda leased a total of 45 fcx units in the us over 20 other fcev prototypes and demonstration cars were released in that time period including the gm hydrogen 4 and mercedes benz f cell The Hyundai iX35 FCEV fuel cell vehicle was available for lease from 2014 to 2018 when 54 units were leased. In the year 2018, Hyundai introduced the Nexo. Then the Honda Clarity fuel cell was produced from the year 2016 to 21. The in the year 2017, Clarity had the highest combined density fuel economy rating among all hydrogen fuel cells cell cars rated by the EPA that year with a combined city highway rating of 67 miles per gallon gasoline equivalent mpge and 68 mpge in city driving then next point is that social and environmental importance of electric and hybrid electric vehicles there are lot of social and environmental importance of this type of electric and hybrid electric vehicles these are as modern culture and technology continue to develop the growing presence of global warming and irre- irreversible climate change brought increasing amounts of concern from the world population it has only been recently when modern society has actually taken notice of these changes and decided that something needs to change if the global warming pro- process is to be stopped then countries around the world are working to drastically reduce co2 emissions as as well as other harmful environmental pollutants among the most notable producers of this pollutants are automobiles which are almost exclusively powered by internal combustion engines and few out out and healthy emissions according to various reports cars and trucks are responsible for almost 25% of co2 emission and other major transport transportation methods account for other another 12% with immense quantities of cars on on the road today fewer combustion engines are quickly becoming a target of global warming blame one potential alternative to the world's dependence on standard combustion engine vehicles are hybrid cars cost effectiveness is also an important factor contributing to the development of an environmental friendly transportation sector then impact of modern drive trains on energy supply the impact of modern drive trains on energy supplies are there are counterbalancing factors reducing hybrid energy advantage including potential for higher weight since modern drive train takes more power for its working it adversely imp- impacted on the 
energy supplies of the modern drive trains as well as to the society thank you